the Onion's election 2012. We decide, not you. Brought to you by 7-Eleven or 7-Election. Voting rights available at participating locations only. Election day is approaching. And this year, your pathetic, statistically meaningless vote is more important than ever. To help you make the right choice, we present the Onion Voter's Guide to Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney comes from a family known for its rich and storied history of failed presidential campaigns. For generations, the Romney family has been recognized as one of the nation's oldest and most prestigious presidential election losing families. Losing a presidential election is in Mitt Romney's blood. It was in his father's blood. Some say it's what the Romneys were put on this earth to do. But now that he's actually the GOP candidate, the stakes are higher than ever. Does he have what it takes to pull off yet another humiliating defeat? The next fact you should know is that Mitt Romney is a member of a religion that we apparently all have to pretend is just a religion like any other. Governor Romney's religion, which we all have to say is no more odd than any other major religion, even though we know for a fact that it is because, holy shit, just look at it, is expected to play a minor role in this year's election. Which is crazy, because it really should be the very first thing anyone talks about when Mitt Romney's name is brought up, seeing as it deeply informs virtually every aspect of his personal and professional life. But that's something we apparently don't talk about, so I'm going to move on now. It is also worth noting that Mitt Romney played Roseanne's boss for half a season of the hit sitcom Roseanne. On the issue of immigration, evidence has shown that Governor Romney's stance on immigration varies in direct proportion to his physical distance from the U.S.-Mexico border. For instance, if Mitt Romney is speaking to Latino-heavy states like Arizona or New Mexico, he believes that America is a nation of immigrants and that immigration provides an important source of labor for our economy. However, if he's addressing factory workers in Pennsylvania, he believes that jobs should be protected for native-born Americans and that the U.S.-Mexico border should be policed by predator drones, stealth bombers, and if necessary, a bottomless trench extending across the U.S. southern border. On the contentious issue of abortion, Mitt Romney has made his views clear. He is vehemently against medical procedures to terminate the life of an unborn child, but does enjoy watching abortions whenever he gets the chance. Romney has repeatedly said that anyone who's interested really should take the time to watch an abortion at some point, because it is actually a really cool and fascinating process to look at, even if you're opposed to it. If Romney is elected president, what can we expect from his first term in office? Political pundit Jim Haley offers his projection. Since the planet will almost certainly be rendered uninhabitable by climate change and food shortages within Mitt Romney's first term, we will most likely see him construct a large space arc capable of carrying two of every denomination of currency. He will then load the space arc with two dollars, two euros, two yen, and two of every other world currency and light off into the cosmos to found a new interstellar plutocratic utopia. And lastly, what's the most important issue? The most important thing to know heading into this November is that the Lakers with Dwight Howard are just too good. Why bother getting emotionally invested in anything when we're talking about a team with four Hall of Famers in the starting lineup? Is there any other front court in basketball that can handle Howard and Gasol at once? Not to mention Nash on the pick and roll. Oh, and then guess who's wide open for a jumper if you choose to double any of those guys? Kobe fucking Bryant. Enjoy your Miami-Los Angeles NBA Finals, David Stern. Hope you're happy, asshole.